Well, tonight we're here at the Red Barn VFW in Cottage Grove to check out concertina music. Concertina music used to be one of Minnesota's main musical exports to the world, and it all centered around New Ulm, Minnesota. But here we are, just south of the Twin Cities, checking out old timers and concertinas tonight. Let's see what's up. It's a scene I really don't know nothing about, so we're gonna go check it out. When you talk about old time music of the Upper Midwest, you would be remiss if you did not talk about its chief traditional musical export, poker music. Most people think of the North Dakota native Lawrence Welk, who moved to LA and had a very successful long-running poker show. The Sid's Fat Dutchman from New Ulm, Minnesota, cut over 800 songs for the RCA label and lit up airways far across the upper Midwest. Gone are the fiddle and banjos, and in are the concertina, tubas, and other horns. A mix of traditional German and Czech tunes and new compositions. Umpa music, as it's called, had everybody dancing. My trip to New Ulm to find poker players was a bust. They were not just hanging out on the corners drinking German beer like I imagined. In fact, the day I was there, the rest of the upper Midwest poker scene was 200 miles north at a poker fest at a casino. Not to be deterred, a few days later I went to the North Star Concertina group meeting. They call it a meeting, but really it was just a jam session, which is awesome. I like the way they go about their business. Two concertinas, a tuba, and a drum machine are amped from the stage, while the rest of the crew huddles around books in the hall and plays to their varying abilities. They call out a number between tunes, turn to a certain page, and off they go again. Number 86, the Silver Bells Polka. Now to complete my final mission, I had bought some old concertinas at an auction a few weeks earlier, and one of the reasons I came to this gathering was to find someone to rehome them. The man on the right's name is Mike. He has agreed that if I donate them to him, he would repair them and find a few people who need affordable starter instruments. I drove off into the sunset with much greater understanding of Minnesota concertina music than I had when I arrived. 